Yesterday, we found out basically what happened to the Titan submersible, which had lost contact with the surface on Sunday while it was diving to Titanic's wreck in the North Atlantic. In the days between Sunday and yesterday afternoon, there was a lot of speculation about what happened to the submersible. It seemed like most people thought that it was stuck on the wreck or in the water column, and that the passengers and crew were running out of oxygen. As it turns out, uh, this was not the case. The submersible had imploded during the dive, probably before even reaching the wreck of Titanic. It was likely an event so instantaneous that the passengers and crew never knew it was happening and probably didn't suffer. But that's not what I want to talk about right now. I instead want to address the widespread negative reaction to this whole situation. It seems to me that almost everyone I've talked to or heard talk about this situation has one of two reactions. The first possible reaction is to basically laugh at the situation, and the second is to criticize those involved and anyone who is following or reporting on the story. In some ways, those two reactions are related. Some combination of the situation having to do with maritime and the ocean, and involving people who paid a large amount of money to go on the expedition, must make it unrelatable to folks. And part of me can understand that. If you have no interest in or knowledge of shipwrecks or the deep ocean, you might not care about this type of excursion, and even if you did, you probably couldn't afford to go yourself. I know I certainly couldn't. But just because it isn't relatable to you doesn't mean that it's a laughing matter or that somehow anyone deserves to be trapped miles below the ocean surface and a submersible. I can't relate to a football player losing much of his cognition due to years of concussions suffered on the field, but I can sympathize with it, and I certainly don't laugh at it. So why do we laugh at or disregard what happened to those who were lost trying to see a historic shipwreck? One explanation, which I have been seeing, and possibly the most prominent one, is that the folks who went on the expedition paid $250,000 each to do so. It's a lot of money, no doubt. It's inaccessible for most people. But someone whose lifelong dream it is to go see Titanic and who has a really good paying job could potentially do so after years of saving. People spend money on far sillier things than seeing the world's most famous ship in person, at least in my opinion. Take luxury cars or Super Bowl tickets, for example. We wouldn't laugh at someone who died in an avalanche on a ski trip, even if that ski trip was at an exorbitantly expensive ski resort. Would we? I don't think so, so why do we laugh at and disregard the Titan submersible situation? As it turns out, it appears that the company operating the submersible, OceanGate, didn't abide by the best practices in the industry. Fair enough, but we were seeing this ridicule before this information was widely known to the public. I don't think it's related to the ire of the public, perhaps just a cherry on top to make fun of. Maybe I take more offense to this than others do because there was a time a while back when it was my dream to go on a similar expedition to see Titanic. As you all know, of course, I'm fascinated by Titanic and ocean liners in general. It would be a life-changing opportunity for me to go on one of these expeditions to see Titanic or a number of any other shipwrecks. I don't think it's a bad thing to do, and I certainly don't think anyone who chooses to take part in such adventurous activities is in any way deserving of tragedy. Since when is it bad to do something which is inherently risky? We all know people who play football or ski or ride motorcycles, and we don't blame them when they get a concussion or break a leg or even die in an accident. We sympathize with them, and sometimes try to manage our emotions by recognizing that the person was hurt or killed doing something that gave them joy. I don't have much more to say about this, uh, but I did want to put this out there because I have been a bit surprised by the reactions I'm seeing from people, even some people in the comments of my recent YouTube post on the subject. But let me know your thoughts in the comments of this video. Just keep it civil. Thank you for watching.